How men today let women cuck them. Let's dive right in, guys. This is Mission Life Motion. My name is Matt Mitchell. If you're new to the channel and you find this video insightful, then smash the like button below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel uh, for more content, which we'll be dropping in the coming weeks and months. Um, and hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss any future videos. Like, subscribe, and notification bell. All right, let's dive in. The story is becoming common these days. A westernized girl grows up having propaganda and brainwashing fly in at her from every direction. This comes from every source imaginable, okay? The media, Hollywood, pop culture, music, their public school teachers, TV, advertisements, everywhere. The girl is told her whole life that she don't need no man, okay? She's told that men like bitches, uh, love them even. And the thing is, the men in this society are getting brainwashed too. And a lot of these men even believe themselves that they like bossy, bitchy, disagreeable, combative women. The guys and this girl are told from all these sources that these bossy, disagreeable, combative women that don't know how to cook um, are what men desire or what men want in a, in a female, okay, in a girl. Women that don't dress like women anymore, women that no longer wear dresses, wear perfume, or grow their hair out, okay? This girl has been brainwashed to think that this is what men want. She's told she should act and behave like the girls she watches on Sex and the City. She's told that the sluttier she is, the more empowered she is, right? She's told to go to a university, maybe join a sorority and is encouraged to bang a bunch of guys and rake up a, rack up a notch count of biblical proportions. Okay, also of biblical proportions is the amount of student loan debt she'll rack up. After graduating, this girl will move to the city where she'll secure a corporate wage slave job, um, working under fluorescent lights, and in her 20s, she'll continue to bang a bunch of guys living in the city. Once again, encouraged to act like Samantha from Sex and the City. She'll party it up. She'll occasionally do blow on the weekends. She'll drink. She'll go to nightclubs. Maybe she'll smoke weed here and there. She does all of this, guys. Then she'll get on Tinder and she'll proceed to roll out her long laundry list of demands that she expects from a guy. Yes, the 437 bullet point checklist. You guys may have heard of this. This girl, um, in, a, you know, in addition to this stuff, she'll often, often vote for liberal policies. She is scared to death of any and everything the media tells her to be afraid of. Then comes the good part. Then she gets to be about 27, 28, 29 years old and she starts hitting what's called the wall. After She's done banging all the chads. Uh, she now starts looking for beta providers, okay, who she can cuck into marrying her. These are usually men who don't have the wherewithal for whatever reason to realize what's happening here, which is why I'm making this video. Um, you probably know men like this. You may have a brother like this, a friend. Maybe at one point in your life, this was even you. Um, often these men feel, you know, like they're under pressure from their parents and society to lock down a girl before they they get too old. Um, you know, these are guys that think they're ancient and old by the time they're 30 years old. They think two thirds of their lives are over by the time they're 30. They have zero concept of how the actual real sexual marketplace really works when it comes to men and women. Uh, Marxist beliefs by way of feminism have convinced these men and these women that men and women are exactly the same, okay? Unbeknownst to them, these men and women have allowed themselves to become convinced that everything starts from a canvas of blank slate equalism. 
okay? What's good for the goose is good for the gander, all right? Blank slate equalism, all right, when it comes to men and women. There's no differences between them whatsoever. These men who, that I'm mentioning that, you know, feel like they're under pressure to hurry up and get married are under uh, the false conception that they're running out of time, okay? These are men who are deeply entrenched in societal programming, SP. Um, you know, they listen to parents who are also deeply entrenched in societal programming. The reason why women hate, hate it when men learn things like red pill awareness, okay? Um, when men learn about things like game, how to become better with women, Women hate this because they've become accustomed to Western society, Westernized society being able to brainwash them into thinking that these men need to man up and marry those sluts, right? And a lot of guys fall for this. Women got spoiled for years because the vast majority of men, mostly Western men, okay, places like the United States, the United Kingdom, Australia, most of these guys didn't know about things like game, and even when they did know about it, they were, there was another several years that would pass before many of these men knew about red pill awareness or became unplugged. Um, the reason I know this is because I was one of these men, okay? I, you know, several years back learned how to use game, but I was like a kid with dynamite, right? Um, I knew how to drive the car, but I didn't know how to operate anything underneath the hood, all right? In those formative years, okay, this was in the early 2000s, um, you know, I knew nothing about women, right? I, I knew nothing about uh, how they really operate, true female nature. This ineptitude and this ignorance was something I paid dearly for, okay? Not as dearly as a lot of men, pay for it, but I paid dearly nonetheless, okay? Ignorance is only bliss, guys, until it isn't anymore, all right? Never forget that. So these days, the term red pill awareness is a term that's gotten bastardized, okay? It, the, the, the term, the words the red pill have gotten so overused that people don't even know what it means anymore, okay? All that it means, all that being becoming unplugged, okay, which is another way of saying red pill awareness, all that means is the ability to see the world, particularly with regard to intersexual dynamics between men and women, um, for how it truly is, for how it really truly is, not what society's brainwashing wants you to believe it is, okay? Um, this happens to be a lens that you can apply to all areas of life, not just intersexual dynamics, by the way. I've got other videos that talk about that, but yeah, women hate this. Women hate that these men can see female nature for what it really is. And the reason they hate this is not because female nature is inherently bad or is inherently good. Female nature simply is. Okay, it's not inherently one thing or another thing, it just is, just like male nature. But women hate this because they no longer have a leg up on men when it comes to optimizing their sexual market strategy, okay, anymore. And they had this leg up on men for many, many years, and they got used to it, they got accustomed to it. And then game came along in the early to mid 2000s for example, and that made it possible for a man to essentially fake his sexual market value. At least at first it did. He, it put guys who otherwise would have been very easy to spot by a woman as being a guy with a low SMV. It made those guys, it put those guys in a position to where they could basically fake it till they made it. Okay, and when I was much younger and was learning game for the first time, this is something I did as well. Um, nowadays, you know, I have enough real reference experiences to understand that the game being played between men and women, you know, I have enough experiences and knowledge now to know what that game actually is. So I understand it inherently, in other words. 
Um, I don't need to consciously think about it anymore like I used to. So another way of saying that is that I've become consciously competent, okay, when it comes to intersexual dynamics and um, relations between men and women, all right? Um, you know, women hate the idea that a man can come along and hustle his way into her hypergamous radar. They hate that idea, okay? Without her realizing, you know, that he's just hustling her, and um, for lack of a better word. Because that's essentially what guys who are learning game for the first time are doing. They're faking it till they're making it, right? The thing is, a lot of these guys, a lot of these men that do this, they need to do this in the beginning. This allows them to internalize the attitudes and beliefs that come with come along with being a top tier man. Um, this is what allows them to accumulate reference experiences about women, about life, about you know what they need to do in order to truly succeed in this world. You know, a man in today's in today's age needs enough runway, okay, to allow himself to build up what's called momentum enough runway to build up momentum. Life and success, okay, in the 21st century is all about momentum. It was actually like that throughout the 20th century as well. It's been like that for a while. So allowing women, um, or a particular woman, doesn't matter, allowing them to penetrate your frame is one of the fastest, surest ways, guys, to squash your momentum. A true top tier man never allows a girl to stop to squash his momentum. He just doesn't. So a lot of men these days not only let women cuck them, they actually let the world cuck them. They let society cuck them. They let the government cuck them. They listen to advice from family and friends who have never done the things that they are trying to do, the things they want to do. This is advice that comes from people who are still plugged into society's lies, programming, and brainwashing. They listen to people who, you know, are afraid to take risks or afraid to rock the boat. If you want to become a top tier man in life, guys, you have to be able to take risks. You have to be able to take risks when it comes to business, when it comes to money, when it comes to women, when it comes to your, your life, okay? calculated risks, but risks nevertheless, okay? You have to be able to trust yourself enough to take calculated risks. After all, if you can't trust yourself, guys, <clears throat> who can you trust, right? Without self-trust, what you're really lacking is self-discipline, self-restraint, self-control. And without those things, without self-control, self-discipline, what have you got as a man? in the 21st century, what do you have? You have absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing. So in closing guys, I'm gonna finish this video by saying stop letting women and life cuck you, all right? Stop letting them cuck you, carve your own path. Be a man of ambition, a man of vision, a man of courage, a man of strength, leadership and focus. Be that man. If you're not that man, become that man. Okay, become that man. Give yourself enough runway to build up momentum. It's time to act like a man. Again, like the video, share it. Okay, if you found it helpful, subscribe to the channel. This is Matt Mitchell from Mission Life Motion. I'll catch you guys in the next video.